Y to the E stands for E is brought back, so back in again the blue. Today I've got a screwdriver, not sorry, uh, screwdriver unboxing, Sonic screwdriver unboxing, shall I say. Um, just gonna uh, open it. And um, this screwdriver is very well detailed, as you can see the handle with the red and clear plastic, and you've got the thing. I'm joking! This is the screwdriver to open your Sonic screwdriver, not included. It's a boy! Got this ordered yesterday um, from Amazon Prime. I used to have one of these, in fact, a um, long time ago in primary school I got one of these given from a friend of mine named by Reef. Um, but it was kind of bit battled up and stuff. This one is the re-release after the one that came with the Heritage line because the Heritage line only had the red setting. Why didn't they just pour it all back into one thing? Well, luckily they have. Um, so let's have a look at the box, shall we? We have the VC Dot True logo, five years plus. We have the bubble saying includes red and blue settings. Image of the screwdrivers there. We've got uh, Alice Kingston, aka River Song. We've got the BBC logo down the bottom, and it's um, from the 10th Doctor Zero from 2005 to 2010. River Song's Future Sonic Screwdriver. Um, excuse me, Peter Capaldi give it as a Christmas present because there's a Sonic trial. And then it's from Underground Toys, which is a rarely thing that we get in the UK. And at the back you get the Doctor logo with the River Song Future Screwdriver with lights and sound effects, hidden neural relay indicator panel. Uh, it includes blue and red set, red and blue settings, and you got your battery information, your company information, and all the legal gab at the bottom. Okay, so where's me stainly knife? Who needs a knife? Let's crack it open and see what's inside. Again, we already know what's inside. It's a screwdriver. Now, before I do, it does get hindered by the bubble there. Okay, now before we take a look at the product, um, it is out of its box, you can see it right there. You do get the instruction manual and this, which you don't know what it is. Shows you how to install the batteries and stuff like that. Um, also shows you how to access the red setting and all that stuff. And on the back it's just plain. So that's very handy, although they usually put instructions inside the sleeves, but this was a... A toy that was made before the age of the 12 Doctor and all that stuff. So, I don't know how to close this back up, do I? There we go. Come on. Yeah, that's it. You just get the... Whatever that is. Information, future reference. Blah, 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 blah. And here is the, the Rivers screwdriver. It's a lot lighter than it pre-expected. Pretty light. Compared to the tenant screwdriver, it's mm, about the same. But having a look at detail, um, you can see the clear emitter with the four dampers around, and you get the gold like ring at the top with the little grooves inside to see the little cylinder, like on the CO10 doctors. And then you get to this ball, nearly ball section here, and uh, then you get these little grooves in here on either side. You've got the button to access the toy. You've got the um, tube here, which is the fuel link, whatever you want to call it. Recognition ring, which is just a piece of plastic and fits in your hand very well. Also, you've got that grey. Um, crackle effects on there, which looks very, very worn and damp, which I like about that. And you've got these little raised sections, and then here you've got the panel for the new relay. Um, then you've got this little section here, which leads all the way down to here, and then you've got this like black cap section, which looks a bit similar to the 9th and 10th Doctor's screwdriver. Um, and to use to use it, you would have to put it right down there, and you can 
which looks very very cool now on mine the LED is a bit wonky it's on the on the side which annoys me but it's pretty bright um, and then to access the new relay you have to lift this panel um, And I've just snapped it, have I? Better not have. So yeah, you got the relay. And then you quickly press the little button there. Well, it has that chirped sound effect in the back of it. And when you hold the, quickly change it to red. Then you would have to hold this down to access the relay. If I can. There you go. And now that is on, you cannot access it, which is annoying. Probably to um you know, to save battery. Now, I've had one of these before, um, ages ago, way before, well, way before I was starting this YouTube channel, um, I can't remember how old I was, but about seven and eight, and uh, as soon as I started um, year six, it started to break and stuff like that, and then, And then I took this to school with me at one point, you know, to get it fixed. And you could, when I took it apart, the board was actually a board with a button on the side and the LED is just one big green LED. Um, I've got two little nitpicks with this. One, the um, seam here is a bit too fiz visible. Um, and also, if you pull down on this ring, it just looks like it's just going to snap, and that is really, really concerning. And also, when you try to pull off the panel for the new relay, um, sometimes it will take the mic. But luckily, yeah. And also, I like about the screwdriver, it's got like that oxidised copper effect on it, which looks really, really nice. And you don't have secret sounds or anything. Um, but I like the fact you can change it, you know, change the um, colour of the sonic and changing the stuff. Now, to change the batteries, all you have to do is twist and pull the section, like that. And to put it back on, there's a little groove there and you've got to line it up with this little nub here and then twist it back. Um, to, act, to change the batteries, you'd have to literally unscrew that. I don't know if it's on a plastic washer. I'll soon find out. can't see it being on the plastic washer because this is one of the ones where then again yeah it is on the plastic washer and you got your three button cell batteries which are already installed in the toy um, but the downside to it this is one of the things what I feel like should be addressed like, at least put two button cell batteries in, because this one's kind of in the way. But there is a specific way to do that. There we go. There's the bridle. I'm just going to cut the last one out.
and you lift it up, you can still get the battery in and out. Then you can push it back in. And then you just got to do that. Screw the screw. Make sure the end cap doesn't roll off. And then what you want to do, again, you get this little notch here, line it up with the little nipple twist, and you're ready to go. There is a slight bit of um, paint bleed on here, that's not really a big issue. Um, doing a size comparison between the Tev Doctor screwdriver, it's about the same size, it's just the emitter's a bit taller, so again, but when it's extended, it dwarfs. Okay, doing a size comparison with the 13th Doctor screwdriver, which is a lot older. Again, this is a pretty small screwdriver. Um, in fact, the sound on this is pretty quiet. And like the fact you can just change it to a red. Okay, you can change it. You know, faster face, because in the because the Doctor David Tennant gave well in the future it gives Ruth Song the screwdriver, and then tend to be a an old screwdriver, and this is a really nice Sonic. I would recommend picking this up. This cost me about mm, thirty five quid on Amazon to get on Prime, and it is expensive. I just wish Sonic screwdrivers would cost a tenner like it used to do. Because, hey, you're paying something that lights up and makes a buzz. Um, for those cosplaying uh, River Song, I would recommend you pick this up. Um, it's a great toy. Again, nice, highly detailed replica of the Sonic. Um, but again, it's, it's plastic, it's no metal, apart from the screw. But it is around the same heaviness as the... 10th Doctor, and the crackle effect is more bigger and open on this one than it is on this one. Um, doing a quick size comparison between the 12th Doctor's Sonic, second screwdriver that is, you can see it's tiny, and yes, the sound's gone. Doing it between the couch options version of the 11 slash 12 extended big still so yeah that is the sonic screwdrivers um, comparison size so again should you pick this up if you haven't got it get it Get it in your collection today or tomorrow, whichever day you can be bothered. Again, it is a very nice toy to have for those cosplayers or Doctor Who fans like me. Um, again, please like and subscribe and also comment down and subscribe and like. I've got a shout out for... what's his name? Uh, do, 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 do. Is this tablet charged? It's 100% good. Oh, I need to wait. Just uh, a quick... No, I don't know how to pronounce his name, so I'm just going to um, have to uh, show the channel. I, I did do a Try to Laugh reaction video, but um, it got copyrighted, so I'm going to have to do this school thing, and then it, in 90 days, it's... Um, so basically, in, in um, January, it's, I'm going to have the coffee strikes took back off me. And... I'm on my second warning, so basically, <sighs> I don't think I'll be doing trying to laugh reactions again after yesterday, so that's enough. I won't be doing trying to laugh reactions no more on this channel. It 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 shows it on my channel on when I see it, it shows me it, but when you see it, it won't show you. 
Um, anyway. I'm trying to um, show this channel, but the tablet is. Yeah, hurry up. And thanks for the happy birthday comments as well, guys. Thank you very much. I did reply to you. Um, there's a channel. It doesn't have much content, but hey, check it out. Um, I'll try and put it in the description below if it will let me. Anyways, have a great day. And also, for those new people who just like to watch this channel, Please like and subscribe and also comment down and subscribe and like and I'll give you a shout out. And also, Alonzi.